I love division. I love being the person who comes to separate. I love being antagonistic. You have to become the villain. Be the villain, guys. Be the bad guy. Because today, being the bad guy is being the good guy. You read G.K. Chesterton's orthodoxy, and what does he talk about? He says that we will come to a point where the counterculture will be orthodoxy. In other words, unapologetic Christian men, especially Ari, just standing up for wholesome value, family value, wanting to have children, wanting to be monogamous. The dominant mainstream should look at you as a villain. I am here to divide. I'm not here to make friends. I'm not here to be liked. I'm here to make enemies. I'm here to have more death threats. I'm here to be here for the action. We're Christians, right? And by the way, we talk about conservative ink. Why do we not talk about Christianity ink? And I'm not talking about the mega church or the prosperity gospel, but the people who buy into, let's just submit to cultural Christianity. What the fuck is cultural Christianity? You're either a Christian or you're not. If you believe in God and read the gospel and want to be like Jesus Christ, you come with the sword. Oh, but Jesus Christ, he hung out with lepers and prostitutes and the homeless. Yeah, so he could be an example and mog them. So they can realize like, wow, what am I fucking doing in my life? He was actually properly and rightfully so shaming those scumbags. You guys gotta understand like, my whole life. <laughs> my whole life and career is me realizing. I'm just over the mark. Liken me to Caravaggio. Caravaggio is known for his art. But he's more known in retrospect for being a dissident against the dominant narrative. I'm trying to be that guy who can carry the sigil and the flag of Christianity through these biblical imageries that I always depict. That's what a, basically a painter is. Okay, that, there's a reason why the, the Austrian visionary was a painter. The process of painting itself is creating an anchor morally. That's why they're more like transcendental mirrors, to be honest. All right, I gotta go to the gym. Today is leg day. Love you all. Let's fucking go, that was a great leg day. I'm gonna be talking to Vincent James about Ben Shapiro's reaction to my analysis on the fall of all empires. It's funny because somebody must have sent him a clip, not the I mean, full excerpt, because true. if he just Again, listened a little bit longer, he would have heard my breakdown on where that strategy comes from repeatedly time and time again, it was which a is Jewish doctor. Judaism. The definition of racism in your mind when you hear racist is white people. Only white people can be racist, and so therefore, these disparities are due to white people being racist to other races, right? But And, and so that's why they, they took away the Nobel Peace Prize from... Uh, the 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 scientist who discovered the uh, the d DNA was a double helix, and uh, James, uh, what was his name? James, um, yeah, I think it was James. <laughs> you know, I, I gotta say though, brother, you know. Um... Anyway, so so you understand? Go ahead. I kind of have a different answer to a lot of people in this space. I really want white people to be racist <laughs> because <laughs> because that'll that'll fix all this shit. I hate to break up the kumbaya energy. I really like white people. Like white people are to me the most likable race because they're they're actually not they're the least racist. But I'm almost at the point where I'm like, I think you need to be racist, guys, because it's literally <laughs> guys, not. I think you need to be racist. God. Yeah, I, who are the ones denigrating white people? Like literally every day I'm on X for some reason I see some black kid assaulting a white girl, punching her in the face every day and then she'll later like redact some thing it's like oh yeah that's just because we're in a poor area what the fuck every other race is actually being incredibly racist except white people well, yeah, which is I mean, why they're picking on you guys and be so... racist white man let's fucking go
Okay, good going on back. Ooh, that was a very good day. Just got home and showered and I'm gonna grab myself some Panda Express at this hour. There's nothing really open but Panda Express, but I think after that heavy 20 rep squat set, I've earned myself some Beijing beef and deep fried coconut walnut shrimp. <laughs> you know, a good day consists of stacking your effort towards a noble cause, right? On a clear pathway to a fully articulated North Star. I gotta say guys, I don't care how much money or status you have, if you don't, at the end of the day, walk back home with your feet dragging, knowing you did some fucking damage, what kind of man are you? You know what I'm saying? This is why I focus on locality. Like, I believe that real influence is local, and being an influencer, in contrast, is a persona. And this is the reason I've decided to vlog over stream, because I'm actually a very solitary and introverted individual, and I believe that actually 90% of the work is accomplished in that space. And you know, some of you may wonder, like, what is this vlog about? He's an artist, he also does political commentary, he's also based and speaking up for truth, and he, I've heard him say some incredibly controversial things that I also align with, but he's also very dicey, and he uses profanity, but he calls himself a Christian. Look, I'm just a guy who's being transparent, and trying to figure it out as he goes, and trying to use the talent that God has given me, hopefully to do something just and honorable. I guess I'm sharing this with you because I would go even further and say that the vast majority of political banter and podcast debate spaces are the populace playing Dungeons and Dragons to avoid actually getting in optimal shape, looking at the internal mirror within towards proper integration, and connecting with high culture and art to develop an actual sense of class. So the reason why I care about all of these other endeavors whilst doing political philosophical commentary is because they're intrinsically actually connected. So that's sort of the spirit of this channel. I'm an outspoken artist who's being transparent about his journey and I sincerely appreciate those who are along the ride with me in that regard. So let's fucking go.